Hello everybody and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out Pasta Master, a game by Jacob Buczynski. This is a pseudo twin stick shooter with a bit of a dada aesthetic to it. Everything's obviously very strange and bizarre as you can tell by this title screen. And uh, In fact, the premise of the game is equally bizarre to the title screen. We're actually going to be defending a bowl of pasta which happens to be a portal to hell while playing as a magician who shoots laser powers out of the top of his hat. I know, it sounds really silly but it's actually quite fun uh, and I call it a pseudo twin stick shooter because we're not actually using a 360 controller in this particular uh, mode we're actually going to be using our mouse and arrow keys and it works pretty much fine uh, but before we get started, I actually want to take us on a little side trip here. As you might notice, there's some things that look a little bit suspect and questionable about this title screen. So we're going to click around a little bit. You click on this picture of this mafia person, uh, seems to make that person cry, and that's sad. Uh, if you poke the lady, puts her hands up by her mouth. Uh, but, oh, we can ring a bell. I didn't even notice that one before. There's all kinds of little secret hidden things about this, but specifically I want to click up here into the ceiling tile uh, because this actually brings us to a whole different world of tricks, and I kind of look at this like a bit of a tutorial on how to move around successfully and get acclimated to your character's hitbox. This isn't actually how the game looks, it's actually rather different, but it's kind of a neat little side game that, you know, is just wrapped into it, uh, and once I start the proper game I can't actually go back to this mode, so I just figured I might as well show you right off the top. Uh, so all I'm doing here is just trying to guide my little faces, glasses person uh, from the beginning of each war- Oh, okay, I guess the hitbox is a little bigger than I expected. I'm gonna do that again. I think I can actually get further than that. Surprisingly, a fun little strange jaunt. All in and of itself, and this isn't even the actual game. Uh, but yeah, the, the aesthetic in this game is completely over the top and ridiculous. The music actually complements it very well. It actually rides the line pretty well between being hilarious and alarmingly creepy most of the time. Uh, this seems to be more in the hilarious camp, uh, but there's moments that are, like, kind of unsettling. Well, I guess the fact that we're just these, like, crazy eyes in the darkness uh, is a little bit unsettling, maybe, to some. Alright, so we just gotta zoom out of that. Very nice. And watch out for this monster that seems to want to eat me. Alright, perfect. Uh, oh, there's rats everywhere. I don't like this at all. I don't actually know what can kill me here. I think I'm just supposed to look for the gaps, but I don't really know how. Uh, okay, it's not killing me. I guess I just avoid the line. Never mind. I was overcomplicating that. Oh god. That, oh, that was actually, oh, never mind. They actually hit another one behind, and I didn't notice. Okay, so that's kind of what that's about. Let's go back out, and we'll play the actual pasta shooting game uh, by clicking on the bowl. Not start game. I know it would be the obvious thing to do, but we're going to not do that. And in we go. All right, so here's our character. He's got uh, soulless black eyes and basically nothing going on in there, but he also has this sweet little electric power that seems to be hiding behind his head and his awesome hat, which is uh, enchanted with magical lasers, and I can shoot them out at wherever my cursor happens to be. So in sort of a Geometry Wars-esque form, I'm going to be shooting after these uh, annoying oranges and angry teacups and various other elements, which will get harder and harder as we go. Of course, they start you out easy, because who doesn't in video games, right? And, oh, we've got an angry broccoli. It's okay, we shredded him. And you'll see that ketchup that says JFK for some reason just appeared. Oh, squid is dead. Uh, this ketchup is actually sort of like a smart bomb. When I pick that up, it'll actually delete everything or kill everything on the screen. So I'm going to save that for when I get overwhelmed, and hopefully I'll have the ability to make it over there in time. Uh, you may also notice the longer I don't fire, the more it seems to be that I can fire, and if I hold down my fire for a long time, it kind of sputters out a little bit. I still do the same amount of damage, it seems like, but I just shoot less projectiles, so I guess there's something to be said for sort of using moderation when it comes to trying to explode our enemies here. Uh, the sound of that ceramic teacup exploding is kind of disturbing to me for some reason. It sounds a little bit nails on a chalkboardy. Uh, but I guess, in a way, also very visceral, if you're into that kind of thing. So these bugs actually splinter off into more tinier bugs, and I've got to be a little bit careful when I'm fighting them that I don't unleash too many that I can deal with. Uh, now it's looking like a good moment to pop that ketchup, and we did, and in fact it worked just fine. What is that? That is a... oh, a bubble power-up. I've never even seen that before. 
Uh, I've actually only done about three or four runs of this, and all of them have lasted about three minutes or so. Uh, there is a point where things get a little bit more chaotic than I think I was ready to deal with, but now that I know it's coming, maybe I'll be able to handle it a little bit more uh, efficiently. And you do have to be rather efficient when you're dealing with all these demons from hell. And I know they don't really look like demons, most of them. Many of them actually just look like commonplace items with faces on them. But that's the thing about demons. Like, they come in the, the strangest forms. You'll never know what to expect from them. I kind of want to head over in the direction of this ketchup. Also, going over toward the ketchup means you might put yourself in harm's way uh, if something happens to spawn in faster than you can deal with it. Okay, we've got tomato demons now. Uh, so you can all raise your rock tomatoes in chat. I know that's not a thing because I'm recording this offline, but still, there's a there's a thing about tomatoes with my channel. I don't know. Um, there was actually this whole like attack of the killer tomatoes. I think that was it was a movie, right? And then it turned into like a cartoon show in the 90s. I, I wasn't really keyed in on that whole thing, but that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. Very ridiculous. Uh, and I guess Dadaist seems like the appropriate thing to call it. Alright. Blow them all up. I think so far I'm having possibly my best runs uh, thus to date. Okay, kill the octopus, kill the tomatoes, kill the teacups, kill the bugs. I wonder what's coming after this. I haven't seen any more uh, enemies beyond the tomato demons, so I guess I have to brace myself. Maybe it'll just be larger and larger bugs that split into more and more pieces. Uh, also, my hitbox is really big, so I've got to be really careful if I get myself in a bad spot. Uh, I'm not going to have time to dodge, necessarily, so I've got to keep myself away from those edges. They do kind of let you see where they're coming from a little bit ahead of time, though. What's up with these spaghetti noodles, by the way? Some of the ones in the background here, we've got, you know, some pretty normal-looking spaghetti noodles, but then we've also got ones... Oh, there's fish demons. Okay, actually, forget it. I did see those before. Uh, they seem to leave bones behind them, and I think I actually got hit, but I lived because I had a bubble. Uh, but yeah, the, the spaghetti seems to be, some of it's covered completely in sauce, but, like, individual strands of the spaghetti, which I don't know if that quite works. Uh, okay, I got hit again. I am completely without defense! Oh, jeez, I really think that those bones probably do kill me. Alright, got a new bubble. Cleared the screen. I think we're good to go again. But for real this time, though, if there's anything beyond the fish demons, I have not seen it. Uh, there's actually a game percentage completion uh, rating that you get when you finish this. So I guess there is sort of a discrete beginning, middle, and an end to it. And this is, again, the furthest I've ever gotten, so maybe we'll see more progress than I was even expecting. I'm just kind of going for the tomato sauce right away, or the ketchup right away, uh, just because I don't want to prolong things. All right, seems like... You also get a much stronger laser right after you pick up the ketchup, is that true, or was that just a coincidence? Yep, totally fire is way stronger for a while. This game is actually remarkably fun. I, I don't really care one way or the other whether it's ridiculous or not, because in this- Oh god, it's a crazy mushroom, people. What are they- Okay, they're gonna shoot spore clouds at me, and there's fishmen everywhere! Oh my god. Uh, I'm kind of panicking. There's too much going on. I need a tomato. I need a... I mean, I mean, I need a ketchup, actually. I need a ketchup! What is that red? Is that good? Oh, I thought that was something, maybe a power-up or something, but it's actually just the leftover tomato bits from when I shredded one of those last ones. Okay, those mushrooms are kind of terrifying, don't you think? Oh god! He hit me with hallucinogens! Ah, oh, he finished me! Ah, oh, that sucks, I was doing so well. Game completed was 58%. So it was just after halfway through the game, and I got a ranking of A-. I mashed 997 enemies. What, I couldn't have been three more? I almost went for a thousand there. It's ridiculous. Well, okay, that was actually a pretty good score. I'm not going to do another run of this because I just wanted to show you what this is about. But this is Pasta Master. It's a surprisingly fun and addictive little ridiculous over-the-top uh, twin-stick shooter. If you want to go check it out, there's going to be a link for it right in the description. I do recommend that you do and see if you can finish this off. See what uh, kind of crazy enemies happen after the Mushroom People, if you can get that far, of course. Uh, I had to channel all of my Geometry Wars skills to get to that point. Well, I think I probably could have done better, to be honest, but... You never know, things get a little overwhelming. Uh, so yeah, go let it uh, let it percolate a little bit, see what you think about it, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then we will uh, we'll reconvene, and maybe I could even play this on a stream one time, because I would kind of like to be able to beat it. It, it would be a, a personal mark of pride for me. 
Uh, and hopefully this is a download link that should stay around for a while, because this one's actually kind of hard to track down online. I had found this game a long time ago and I actually forgot what it was called. So I just recently ran into it again and then went and downloaded it, but most of the links that I looked for for it were dead, so... I'll do my best to keep things updated, and I found one that seems to be stable for the moment, but in the future, if you run into this video and the link doesn't work anymore, I guess let me know and I'll try and track down a new one for you. And that's just going to be a constant problem with this series in general. There's going to be hundreds upon hundreds of indie games that just start vanishing online, and I'm not going to be able to host them all myself, so... I guess we'll just have to do our best. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like on it. It helped me out a whole bunch. And come on back tomorrow. New episodes of Indie Impressions go up every single day. So if you like this, you'll like the next one probably just as much, if not more, because they're all crazy, artistic, unique, or original games. And there's plenty, plenty more to come. So I'll see you back for another one tomorrow. Thank you everybody for watching, and have a fantastic night.